welcome to the examination baked conduct class for applied communication in policing B. My name is Elizabeth Chimas. Welcome to applied communication in policing. The module code is POLD, P O L D A C P 1 2 in particular. I'm your tutor for applied communication and I will mark your assignments as well as the examination for this subject. I wish you all to be hardworking students, dedicated and self-driven students in this course. This presentation will cover the examination questions. General guidelines on writing exams will be explained. The module assessment policy. Continua continuous assessment per semester module consists of one assignment of 120 marks for modules of 10 credits. A 50% semester or continuous assessment mark is required for admission to the exam. So in your assignment, you should get 50% and up for you to be able to be admitted to sit for the exam. A 60% pass is required for practical assignments that will account for 50% of the assessment mark. The duration of the examination is 10 credits is one written paper of two hours, two hours and a half for 120 marks. So our examination is going to be 120 marks and it's going to be two hours, 30 minutes long. The final pass mark of 50% is required, calculated by 60% of the examination mark and 40% of the continuous assessment mark. A sub minimum of 50% must be attained in the examination. The setting, Okay, so if you get maybe 80% in the assignment and then you get 40% in the, in the exam, it will not make you pass. So you have to get at least 50% in the examination for you to, to get a pass mark. The setting and marking of examination papers are moderated. Module requirement. The attendance of all contact training opportunities that are organized by IOL is compulsory. Acquire the study guide and all relevant prescribed study material or recommended website information. All assignments must be handed in on time. Students with special circumstances struggle to meet deadlines should contact IOL in time. All forms of academic dishonesty such as cheating and plagiarism are prohibited. Module requirements. You are encouraged to manage your study time well and engage in learning circles. Focus on, on understanding, asking what, why, and how questions before memorizing content. Admission to examinations depend upon successful attainment of the required assessment mark. Exit learning outcomes. After studying this module, you'll be able to apply various theoretical approaches to concept to organization theory, use language of communication theory in, write, in speaking and writing, write clear and effectively about human communication on paper and electronically, formulate own perspective on communication theories. So this, module, this particular module requires you to read and understand and master at least one or two theories of communication in detail. Examination questions. These examination questions are discussed as a summary of the assignments they appear on the tutorial letter of 2019. Here are the following, here are the following questions. Question one, Essence, essentials of corporate communication. Define corporate communication Master, like I said, when, where, where, wherever you see in a module there is a definition, you need to master the definition. Now, essentials of corporate communication, you define what is, what is corporate communication, and then you write the importance of communication in the law enforcement. Question two, formal and informal communication. Number one, you need to know the definition. Know what is formal communication. Define informal communication. Number two, list the advantages and disadvantages of informal of communication. Three, you need to define grapevine communication. 
Number four, you list characteristics of grapevine communication. Question three, different types of multimedia used in the police force. So there is a section where you are going to particularly look at multimedia. Now you need to read and you understand and you research how multimedia is used in the police force. How is multimedia being used in the police force? So obviously the definition of multimedia and other components of media are required. You define visual communication. You look at the advantages and disadvantages of visual communication. Um, fields of mass communication used by Namibian force. How, what multi, ma, mass communication means? It's communication that will reach a large number of people at one time. So what is the form of mass communication that is used by the Namibian force? How are they using advertising and how are they using broadcasting? Question four, principles of letter articles and report writing. So letters, we have application letters, complaint letters, recommendation letters. So a structure of a business letter, it's, just, it's the same structure of a business letter where there are two addresses and there's also a reference. So it doesn't matter whether it's going to be an application letter or a, a, a complaint letter, the structure is the same. So master the structure of a, of a, of a letter. Know how to write an article and also know how to write the report and all the elements of report writing. Instructions and information to candidates. What should you do in this assignment or exam? Provide sufficient answers, meanings. Do not write too little or too much. Also check the mark allocated to determine the length of your answer. Try by all means to use your own words and refer to your experience. Make sure your statements, ideas make sense of what you intend to say. Good luck with the exam. Do not hesitate to contact me should you experience some challenges in your studies. My contacts are email address sabe.chim at yahoo.com. My mobile number is 08133 060 30. Thank you.